continue this talk. I've started with Kalawar Talk 1, and now it's Kalawar Talk 2. So, for me, in Kalawar Talk 2, we looked at, we examined institutions, starting with the Amenable, and we come to a very sad conclusion that the Amenable of Kalawar, Professor T.J.T. T. Prince, had not provided the needed leadership for the Kalawar people to go forward, has not provided the needed leadership for Colorado people to have the needed unity, the needed power to surmount the challenges of these times. So, but today we are going to look at the Colorado Secondary. The Colorado Secondary is supposed to be the gathering, the gathering, the warehouse, the clearing house of Colorado people because every Colorado Nalabo from every community, from every Alawari is supposed to be at the Kalawari Circle. If Kalawari people are not there today, some Kalawari chiefs are not there, it's not because the institution is not there. They chose not to be there with their pettiness and their uh, unpatriotic behavior towards the Kalawari people, towards the Kalawari state. They don't have any attachment to the Kalawari state. Very disappointing. But when there is crisis, most of them come, and kick, come to the council. They run to the council when there is crisis. When the crisis are resolved, they run away. So let us not say that something contributed for them not to come to the Kalawar Circle. It's a lie. They chose not to come because they feel that there is no crisis. So they contribute. The so-called Kalawar and Alab will contribute to what is happening to the Calabar. After the second period, I'm going to, I'm going to really uh, stray and focus uh, on Calabar now as, as an institution. So today, let us look at the Calabar second period. How did Calabar second come, uh, come about? That Macri, when he became a minor of Calabar in the small, tiny highland, Torres Ramapuri, Metropolitan Calabar, which is now called Alien Calabar, Old City. That Macri, there, there, saw and met seven wars. Endeme, Korame, Iturame, Akialame, Miame, Amabiame, Ikotame. Those are the seven wars he met. After some time, he discovered that this seven words cannot take the Calabar nation in the competition that was was becoming very obvious to him. Bonnie was there, a trading power. Calabar had established a trading power and Nembe was emerging and uh, the ethnic state of New Calabar was there and Bonnie uh, her, and the Africa alliance was very strong and that market needed to expand the Calabar state to confront the challenges that were before him and the Calabar state. And he expanded the words into Endeme, Igodame, Igodame, Akala, Akalame, Akwame, Okonobe, Tulu, Sukube, Tulu, Kurame, Alame, Bokame, Kala, Ikurame, Miame, Kala, Igodame, and Amabi. Amen. That was it. Even after, doing, after having done that, he still discovered that these things have become archaic. They are not moving. The engine was not moving. It was, it, it was, it, it was, there was uh, bumpers everywhere and Calabar was not moving forward. He decided to dismantle this institution systematically by creating the war canoe house, introducing the war canoe house into the, this part of the world. It was Dan Macri who introduced the war canoes into this part of the world by first of all creating two, two war canoe houses. Two war canoe houses for Dahodum and Dahombo. Dahodum war canoe house was created first. Dahodum, the son of Hawo, Dahodum, Hawo Baboy, and Da Atayomubo, Ari Amakri. These were the two that were created. And Dahamakri divided. Dahamakri, in order to strengthen them, he wanted a triangular state. 
a tripod. He and the FS and resting on the two. That Odum and that Humbo. That was what Dahmer intended in his policy of building the Calabar states. So he decided that the two groups should take care of his most precious legacies. His children. His children. He bequeathed Daikini, Amakrekini, to Daudun, and gave Amakrekarbo to Daumbo. Not only that, he gave his grandson, Otaji, long will to Daumbo, and one of his, his, his foster son, Daidiabal. In Nabobari, prayed her to die on book. And that was how the circle started. At the time of Abi, Abi started the central group of Buhari, where a central military command and so on. It was not done properly, if we look at it, because the head of houses were not included. Some of the head of houses. That Itonboyobo was the richest man of his time. He was an Arusa. And even to today, we can see it. If we look at what they left behind, the weaponry they left behind to today, you find out that it is that Idombo, that George, and that uh, Iso that have the highest number of the high caliber weaponry. That there, the bang bang, it began how be fear, and all, they're all there. They survived it today. But that be man no man did. So what is the recovery today? The recovery is supposed to aid, advise, and work with the Amayabo for the good of Calabar. If the recovery is up and doing, we don't need any other institution because this is the most perfect institution. Because the Arasi is the highest. That's why I am my club and Alabo. That's why I'm my That's why I went to Damakri to lift the cannon ball. To lead the cannon ball to become Kalawa and Alawa, like that. Well, what is the Sekobri doing? The Sekobri, like the musician's son. My father's house of worship had become a den of thieves, stealing in the name of the Lord. Strike the armor of justice and set my people free. My father's house, that Macri house of justice, that Macri house of defense, that Macri house of protection of Calabar interests has now become a den of thieves, stealing, perpetuating injustice, oppression, repression, whole form of maladies and vices have now become the order of the day, the modus operandi of the Calabar Secondary. The Calabar Secondary. Has ceased to be the bulwark of the Calabar state, the backbone of the Calabar state, the last of the last of the Calabar state, defending the Calabar state. The Sekubri now is where money changes hands from the speech of under I mean, this chief had been bribed. He comes, go, 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 go. he stands up and starts to tell lies, falsify history. Falsify history. He wrote, he wrote, he wrote, always lie. What are we going to do to revive? We need to get bleach, bleach, and detergent, and iron sponge, and vein to wash. There must be internal cleansing. There must be sanitation. Period in the Calabar Secondary. Because the Calabar Secobri is a house of vices today. It does not tell the truth. It's a, an odd bed of liars and bribe takers. We must 
do an internal cleansing, an internal surgery to remove the tumor of corruption and injustice. How are we giving instances? Chiefs! People will come from their communities to become chiefs. They said there's a kangaroo committee of screening whatever. Chiefs will come. Maybe you have a problem with another individual in your community and some chiefs have gone to the Amayawa. The Amayawa are taking side with that chief. And then when you come, you have paid their money. The day you are going to be installed with everybody, they disgrace to share your money eat. When you talk, they say you have insulted Dharmakri. You don't want to insult Dharmakri. He uses it to rob yourself. They did it to judge will. Of Angulama! Chiefs! Furabo! They did it to Chief Dapa of Abalama. They did it to so many people. Injustice. At this hard time, you take people's money. And this is a council headed by a professor. Shame on you. You are not the house that Dama could be in. My father's house of justice had become a den of thieves. Stealing in the name of the Lord. Stay the armor of justice and let my people go. That was the case. Because the Amayaba had a problem with uh, Diamond to be in West. Elebikala. Elebike Polo. He, a direct descendant of Elebike. Elebike Polo. Decided that there is no Elebike too. It is, it is uh, that. Tom's stool. That tongue does not have a stool. That tongue sat on a little stool as the son of the dog. He came with a little stool. So it is not a little it is not Tom's compound, it's a little bit compound. The wife, all of a sudden they said they have settled. A little bit house is back. It is a little compound. The same way, whenever people call our compound a dummy or bupolo, we the children of a dummy have a no. It don't buy a bupolo, how it don't buy a bupolo? Man, I like it don't buy a bupolo. It's not it don't buy a bupolo. That's why justice reign. Calabari comes to you. Eh, Calabari said, Kobri, you will hear. That Karibbo, Chief Tempsey was stranded for him by the Umbo house. And when that Karibbo became a minor boy, he gave this tool to Idilolo Mare, pre-judge Amakri. So Prince George Amakri sitting on that stool of that caribou, as the head of caribou house. Some chiefs in Abiy house will say, no, it's not true. That that judge. So on whose stool is that judge sitting? Come on, council of chiefs. Come on, sake of you are poor. House of injustice. Correct it. We must fight. That is what I have chosen. We must correct these injustices. That judge is the head of Caribbean group of houses. That bee gave his tool to Ingodikyo. When Ingodikyo was suddenly wounded and he came and died, the stool was given to Mizel. But his mother, my auntie, said no. It was fast to Okorosa. Today in Abbey House, they are saying it's not true. Okorosa is not an abyss too. Okorosa is an abyss too. Stand up. We got it. That in Abobari stool was created for him by his father, that area. That area died at the early stage of that caribou. At the early stage of that caribou. Because by 1854, during the reign of that caribou, there was a dispute between the Ekene people and Calabari people. And the British came to settle this dispute and to sign a treaty. 1854. 
on the 25th of January on on board a majesty steamer the antelope the treaty was signed to open up the market and allow trade to go on in the Ghana market Calabar people should not ban the Ghana they should not stop going to the Ghana market in that treaty that judge good that in Abu Bwari, signed after uh, judge will now today there is no compound that in Abu Bwari compound all of a sudden they said there is an in Abu Bwari compound There is, there is, there is uh, an Isokra compound. How can there be Isokra compound in Buguma? How? It's not possible. How did Isokra become a compound? Isokra left the Elem El El Calabar to Buguma. In the in, 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 in Nabobari walking. Nabobari will be, I know, one more Buguma will create, one more Buguma will It was after the foundation of Buguma in 1885. That B insisted that the Tarea House must return to Buguma. At that time, everything had been shared in Buguma. That's why you see that the West have crossed. That's why you see that the West have, uh, uh, that is the only place where you see one compound crossing to the other side. And at the end of the day, the Tarea people came. That B insisted that Hamatoro should bring the Tarea walking you know, out from Buguma to Buguma, and they came. Damakri created the Nabobwa reward for four persons. One anako. Amakri Oboko. A Tunika Nangana Menea. When Taria left K and K. When Taria left K and K. When his father Bela gave himself and his royal term, Damakri put them under the care of Dangana Menia. Dangana Menia took care of that, that uh, Tarea, fostered him, brought him up, and made him who he is. But Dangana Menia was not a chief. That Ejimunike was not a chief. Or Allah in Allah, It is only that one and one and that one and Allah Pakamaye. That Oko was not a chief or Alasa. That Imporo was not a chief or Alasa. So how can there be Sokra compound? Under which heading? That Sokra came as a member of that in Abubare house. He's not a chief. Lying Calabar Sekobri. He wrote Calabar Sekobri. This judgment and injustice cannot stand the test of time because while the history, the authentic a uh, uh, sequence of events in Calabar land in our arm, you go. And then they now went to Sokra Kombam and brought one Ibenebo, conniving with the Sokra to install Ibenebo in Calabar uh, as, as uh, in Abu Bari, on the head of that, of that Tarea's house, shamelessly. And they think that the that Tarea's house will accept it. If everybody accepts, I will not accept these lies that you are imposing on people. You can be my best friend. These are lies. They die in Abu Baris too. It's a stool belonging to the Tarea's house and only the Tarea's house. Look at the ungratefulness. Today, that Karebo descendant, that big descendant, are sitting in the Amakri house because that Tarea opened it for them. During the crisis that led to the installation of that Karibu Asamayinawa, in place of his brother, the crisis that engulfed Kalawai Nation, that was a frontal battle between the Awos and the Ombos, in which the Ombos triumphed, led by Tebo, Ombo the second. And that area, that area lost his eyes. And that is why in every sacrifice in that material, that area takes the head. That you people have the temerity to suspend that area who opened the house. 
Who provided, who hired them that provided the milk and honey you are eating? And how can Kalawari move forward in this sort of injustice and manipulation of known historical fact? My father's house of justice. I've become a den of thieves, stealing in the name of my father. Set the armor of justice and let our people go. That area cannot be blackmailed, cannot be victimized, cannot be cajoled to become something that is not. We are able and capable to say the truth. And it's the truth that will stand. The only way the Kalawai Sekobri can provide the needed leadership for Kalawai people is to be transparent. And only people of proving, proving integrity become her chiefs, Allah, in their various houses. Calabari need leadership, and that leadership can only come when the Amainable resolve to be the Amainable of Calabari, to provide the needed leadership, and the Calabari Sekobri will stand with him to provide the needed proper administration in leading the Calabari state to its, 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 its height. That is the only way the Calabari will move. Let us stop turning the house of justice of our father to the den of thieves.